December the 28th, 2023. Guys, we're almost through with this year of 2023. Just a few days and we'll be into 2024 and it promises to be quite a year. Things are changing both uh, socially, politically, physically. And that's one of the things that I want to look at here. And this is a kind of a crude map, but it gives you a very good idea of what's going on. It's called the magnetic north in motion. We talked about it before. Let me pull that back up. Now, this spot, the gray one, if you notice, is the geographic north pole, right? That's the center of the spin of the axis of the Earth. But this is the magnetic pole, and that uh, shifts, and this is what controls the compasses. When this shifts... The, it changes everything gps for airplanes remember i was it uh after one of the big earthquakes several years ago i think we covered it i can't remember exactly but they had to repaint the uh, magnetic numbers on some of the uh, airports i think down in florida and other places like that but uh, it causes shifts and the magnetic pole can change i think it has a couple of things that affect it one is solar winds and how that holds the earth in balance in other words solar winds are picked up from the sun by our north and south poles these lines of force move around our planet and through the center of our planet and so when that solar wind changes in intensity or the sun changes its magnetic poles slightly then it shifts everything the other could have a lot to do with the lava flows underground around our planet they shift you've seen it uh, up and around yellowstone that thing has moved to the west several several times and it's just these big pockets that exist around the planet and as they feel with lava that can change it but this is a, again a very rough map starting back 100 and basically 24 years ago now at 1900 and these were determined by explorers and things like that with compasses finding out where it all came to a center and it's all moved basically on this map closer to the center of uh, magnetic uh, excuse me geographic north right there notice that that's just in the last 124 years now this is a very basic line there in between these periods of time i've seen a different chart there's a lot of zigs and zags back and forth between 2010 and 2015 there was a large jerk to the right and uh, it happened during november of 2013 when the large comet i sun came around the sun and it was so big and powerful if you guys remember watching it the sun was throwing out massive CMEs at it as it was coming closer and closer, tearing the tail off, things like that. It's a magnetic universe, electric magnetic. And so I think the only way I can describe what happened in that big change was that there, there was a magnetic shadow cast on our planet and sense that all of the, a lot of the energy was being thrown out at I sun. Scientists thought it was going to hit the sun. And the sun possibly saved a cataclysm by throwing out enough energy at the sun, at I sun that when it did get closer to the sun, remember we were recording that it had multiple nuclei inside it. It was cracking up. Then it slightly missed the sun and spread out for 40 million miles with a debris field. But that's just my theory, and this is four years old. Again, this is zigzag back and forth quite a bit, and they're just general. It's kind of a generalization of the direction, not the different movements. But again, here's your geographic North Pole, and uh, four years ago, this was the magnetic pole. But something has happened between last year, 2022, this time of the year, and now, and it's being felt all over the planet. Let's take a look at it. On our website at bpearthwatch.com, a lot of links are on the left, guys, from weather to space to a lot of different things. And no wind map has been there for a long, very long time, and we've watched a lot of very interesting things happen. Now, this is the last winter at this time. We point out what's going on. Here's the U.S., here's Mexico, Canada's here, Greenland's here, of course, Russia. And the Arctic vortex, notice how circular it is. Let's play this forward slightly. Again, this is going back one year. 
Notice that. Very circular pattern. And notice how far it's dipping down into the U.S. right here. Check that out right there. Very circular. You can see the El Nino pattern there. This year has changed, and I think it has to do with a, something's happened with the magnetic north. Not or The scientists aren't really talking about it. But now let's go to the link itself and look at what's going on today. And uh, I saw an interesting video yesterday from Canadian Prepper, and we'll talk about that. But let's, if you scroll down, you've got hurricanes here. Right under Fox Hurricane is the Noel Wind Map. We've watched it before. Click there. Now, this is current. Uh, my time is 8.41 a.m. today on 12.28.23, and uh, we got a completely different pattern. Notice how the one I just showed you is, was dipping down into the U.S., completely covered in Canada. Look at this. Something is way off, guys. A Canadian prepper is in Saskatchewan. If you haven't watched him, I'll put a link so you can go watch. I think he did the video yesterday that he was talking about normally in Saskatchewan, and I think that's where he's at. And he was standing out uh, in an open field area, highway behind him. I'm not sure exactly where that's at. It's a beautiful country. He was saying it was about 45 degrees. I think he said 6 Celsius, and that's close to 45. He said when sometimes it's way below zero there, he said there's been no snow. Usually it's snow-covered and very cold. 45 degrees, no snow. And, uh, again, that would be just into this area right uh here's our border and so right into this area here notice the vortex was well below that into the u.s last year guys look at this is not a circle anymore something has changed and that's why i think we're seeing this tremendous heat we saw last summer and they're saying this summer is going to be worse and while we're seeing floods around the world where we never had before, something has shifted. It, what would cause it, again, it could be mag, uh, magma flow, could be a change in solar intensity affecting our, uh, our magnetics, but I don't know for sure. It's going to be an interesting theory for people to evaluate, I think, and look at the possibilities. Some planets shift if there's a disturbance in the solar system we talked about that uh, I, as a matter of fact last night talking about 129 pound hailstones that the lord has reserved for his day and if something like that's moving through the inner solar system then it could possibly change the magnetics some people say it would be planet x or, or the red planet or whatever it is guys uh, not red planet but planet x planet nine different things and or nibiru but i haven't seen no visuals of that i've seen some people that have taken some shots and looked at the, some solar information solar cameras but i've never seen anything that resembled it i'm not saying it doesn't exist i'm just saying i have not seen evidence of it with visually scientists have detected and this goes back to about seven years ago it was a big topic but before, around in that area and a little before that some of the outer planets were being affected by something that was outside of our solar system they thought that was the sun they were rotating around the sun but their orbits were way off and it was um some of the planets that they were looking at were, was not uh, Uranus and Pluto, but in what they call the uh, Kuiper Belt. And the, usually they would flow around kind of in a close orbit with the planets, which, you know, were kind of an ecliptic. But all of a sudden they were starting to come out of that orbit. Some of them were going up and down and back like they were circling something you could not see. And coming back in, just like a comet, will go back. Some of them will go orbit around Jupiter, get very close to it, and then the sun's uh, magnetic force will take over and pull it back in. Some of them even as little as a seven-year period. But something has changed. And, guys, this or should be talked about more. 
And uh, again, I'd like to hear your opinion on it. Something's changing the magnetic fields, and the weather is pretty chaotic. But again, where it should be very cold and snowing, Canada, northern U.S., we got it in this, in that low pressure system we're watching. But other than that, it's pretty dry. This is the most drastic change that I can remember since I've been watching the NOAA wind map and our YouTube channel has been, or excuse me, our website, at least a dozen years now. But I'd love to hear your opinion on what you think about this. We're watching it, guys. Uh, again, I'm going to put uh, Canadian Preppers video in the link. Go over there, subscribe to his channel. He's one of us. He uh, does his best, just like we do, to keep a finger on the pulse of what's happening in many aspects on the planet and still not stick his foot in his mouth and get his YouTube channel taken down, right? Anyway, take a look at that. And um, I think it all of this combines. Again, we're watching it. Guys, you watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.